Shalaka Deshpande. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is what is interrupt and calling. Now before studying the interrupt system of 8051, it is important to know what do we mean by interrupt. Okay. So let's get started with the today's topic now. Uh, the first question before you must be what is this interrupt. Now let me give you the example. Suppose you are cooking a particular dish in kitchen and phone rings, your cell phone rings. Then you switch off the gas and go to answer the cell phone. And when you talk with that person and when you are done talking with that person, you again come back to kitchen and start doing the cooking. Okay, so what happened in this case? The task which you are doing, the cooking which you are doing, it was interrupted. So you handled that interrupt, you handled that disturbance, you uh, solved that problem, dis uh, disturbance, it can be anything, interrupt. And after uh, solving that interrupt, you again came back and resumed your cooking. <coughs> okay, so that is interrupt. Interrupt is something which produces interruption. So let's get started with the today's topic. Okay. Now changes in the normal program execution flow. Now every microcontroller is having program in the program memory and it executes that program but if while executing that program it has to do some other task. Change in the flow of program occurs. Okay when it has to perform some other task while executing the program. So change in the flow occurs that is interrupt. Okay. So now types of interrupts. External interrupt and internal interrupt. Now what do you mean by external interrupt? See, when a peripheral or an external device is connected to microcontroller or processor, then, uh, and if it wants to communicate with the processor, then it interrupts the processor and then communication takes place. Obviously, if your processor supports or controller supports interrupt, okay, so when uh, the communication is taking place between the peripheral device and the microcontroller, we say that it is external interrupt. Now can you see this diagram? 8051 microcontroller connected with the external devices. Now if it is communicating with the external devices, means external interrupt. Suppose these devices are absent. This device 1, device 2, device 2, these are absent. No device is there, only 8051 microcontroller is there. And suppose the internal units of microcontroller like timer, counter and other units are there. Suppose the internal units which are inside the microcontroller chip, they produce the interrupt. Then that is called as an internal interrupt because it is internally generated inside the chip. So it is internal interrupt. Okay. Clear? Fine. Now calling. What do you mean by calling? It checks the status of all the devices continuously to see what is their requirement. In calling what is happening, status of device 1 is checked, then status of device 2 is checked, 3 and so on. And continuously this process is going on to see uh, uh, it checks whether device is having any requirement and it whether it requires a service from the microcontroller. Okay, And if it requires the service from microcontroller, the device is served and afterwards again the same process is repeated. Now what is happening? Continuously it is checking the status of the devices. So a lot of time of microcontroller is wasted in this process and it cannot do other tasks. Okay, so that is one of the disadvantage that microcontroller's time is wasted and waiting is involved in polling. Okay, now polling is used to check the status of all devices there is no priority see now you must be wondering why there is waiting now uh, here there is device 1 device 2 device 3 when the device 1 will be serviced when the device 2 and device 3 will be serviced there is no priority okay if there is a requirement if this device say uh, it requires service it will be serviced there is no priority that first device 1 will be served it is the highest priority, then medium, then low priority. There is no priority. And because of this reason, the device has to wait for its turn to come. Okay? Clear? Now, uh, drawbacks of calling. Suppose, uh, external device with, with, with which you are calling, it stops functioning. 
there is a drawback in external device and it stops functioning because of that the whole system will crash and uh, it will hang okay when the external device stops functioning the whole system will crash <coughs> okay that is one of the drawback of calling okay now second drawback loss of information when task are high suppose i connect more devices in this diagram so there will be more number of task and if there are more number of task there is a possibility that there will be loss of information some information will be lost okay so that is another drawback now here comes the role of interrupts the drawbacks of a calling are covered in interrupt and in interrupt there is a priority highest priority medium priority lower priority and because of that there is no waiting so interrupt plays a key role okay fine now you can see when the interrupt occurs see when interrupt occurs for example there is one external device connected with the 8051 microcontroller and it wants to communicate with the microcontroller then it sends the interrupt signal to microcontroller and it uh, executes that interrupts and interrupts occur when there has to be communication between external device and the 8051 microcontroller okay read or write operation with external device clear now uh, how the connections are made interrupt pin of a device is connected to interrupt line of controller every external device which we have to connect with the microcontroller should have a interrupt pin and that interrupt pin of device is connected with the interrupt line of microcontroller okay clear so uh, when the interrupt signal is generated by external device via that interrupt line the microcontroller receives that interrupt okay now let's see the flow suppose this is a main core and this is a i sr okay now what happens all the tasks which are to be performed by microcontroller are stored in the main core written in the main core and interrupt is having special different location or special function in a different location okay so what happens suppose the microcontroller is executing the main code okay and while executing the main code external device sends interrupt signal then microcontroller switches from the main code to interrupt request service the next uh, the special code for interrupt okay and it executes this code isr okay and after executing the interrupt request service it again resumes the execution of this main code as i gave you the cooking example okay and it after resuming the execution of the main code rest of the tasks are executed now here what happened is this normal continuously main code is not executing first main code executes then when interrupt occurs the microcontroller switches to isr okay and after executing the isr it resumes the execution of main code so there is a interruption in the flow of main code that is interrupt okay and interrupts are having priorities so that is the difference between calling and interrupt i hope you like the video and have understood the content if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section below okay so please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye bye